Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Today I am going to show you how to create a user in Active Directory on our VMware ESXi uh, domain controller. So what we need to do first is, let me start from the beginning here. Um, we've got our lab domain controller 01 here, right? And we've got our console open. Let's come over to the start menu and open up our server manager. Check, don't see that again. And we're gonna to come to tools and we're gonna to go to Active Directory Users and Computers or ADUC. I'm going to open this up. And now we have our, our console here and our domain is lab.lan. So we're gonna arrow down on this OU or this part of the system here. And I don't typically use the uh, built-in users OU. I will actually separate that out just because that's how I've been taught and that's how I've done it for uh, you know years. And you can see I've got some test users here that I've created already uh, because I've <laughs> shot this video several times uh, because I've goofed up. So uh, we'll clean these up after. So let's go and create a new OU. So we'll right click on our domain and we'll go to new and we'll select organizational unit. Um, we're going to protect it from accidental deletion just because we don't want to, you know, if you have a junior guy that's got some access to it, we don't, we don't want to, um, or even yourself, um, we don't want to delete a, especially a user's uh, OU because that's all sorts of nightmarish. So we'll call it lab users. We'll click OK. And now, uh, now we will come over into this blank space here and click new user. And we will give, we will create a user account here. Robert Smith. Yeah, I'm real original with my names. Um, typically here, I will do last name first. So Smith, Robert, and we'll do R Smith at lab.lan. Uh, depending on the size of your company, uh, typically in SMB, small, medium businesses, you'll see first initial, last name. If you have two people with the same first initial and last name, you'll see like the first initial of their first name and the first initial of their um, middle name. So because this is a small environment, we're just going to do R Smith. That's fine. Um, in bigger environments that I've worked for, they'll give you a number to log in with. It's, it can get really complicated. Uh, this is bare minimum, basic, uh, bare bones, creating an account in Active Directory. So we'll go ahead and click next. Um, we're going to give him a password and it's going to be a basic one because it is just a lab. And typically, if this were a production environment, I would make them change the path. I would give them a default password and then make them change it on login. But because this is a lab network um, and we're ju I'm just showing how the account works, I'm not going to bother with that in this video. So we'll click next. We'll click finish. We've now created uh, Robert Smith, the user. And you can see there's not a lot of information there. We just see his name. So what we need to do is um, we need to give it some more information so that other admins, as they come in and look at accounts, you know, they can, you know, right away look at the description and be like, oh, okay, that's Robert Smith. He's the accountant in the Marlboro office, right? So Marlboro, and we'll say he's an accountant. Marlboro office. We'll give him a phone number. Just a fake one. Um, here, we'll put in his email address because this will do a couple of things. Um, oops. Wow. I can't type today. Um, this will do a couple of things. So if you had office 365 synced up, this is where it would create the account for office 365 with Azure AD connect. Um, it will also pull from your out for your outlook address book. It'll pull from that as well. And we'll give a website here too, because if you do have a website, um, you can do some different GPOs and stuff. So we'll click apply. We're going to come over to account. This is where you would uh, control logon hours. Uh, so say he was only permitted to log on between you know 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Um, you can control that in this window. We're just going to leave it wide open for now. Uh, if he was only allowed to log on to certain computers, this is where you would control that. 
uh, if his account were locked out, this is where you would come to unlock it. You would have a message here that says this account is unlocked. You'd uncheck it, unlock the account, you're good. Um, down here, if he was just a temporary accountant and say he was only going to be here for a week, you would you know, have it end and expire within a week after creating it. That way, uh, you don't have to come back in and disable the account uh, right away. Uh, profile, a couple things here that you'll see uh, in a small to medium business environment. Uh, profile path, if they have roaming profiles, I haven't run into that too much. Uh, log on script if you're mapping other drives, um, you know, or this um, drives is pretty uh, bas basically uh, that's probably the most common thing you'll see is drive mapping scripts. Uh, those will live in the sysvol uh, folder on your domain controllers. Um, some companies do have a home folder uh, or like a personal folder for their users on a file server. If they do have that, you'd come down here, select whatever drive letter matches the environment. You would, you know, put in the UNC path. So uh, lab dash fs zero one backslash users, and we're going to do percent sign username percent sign. Um, this is not an there's this is not a valid path right now because I don't have a machine named lab dash fs zero one. If it were, um, and we wanted to create Robert Smith a folder on there to use as his home folder, uh, you would. You would put this uh, variable here, this percent username percent sign, uh, because it would actually go into this shared folder and create a folder with the correct permissions for Robert Smith. Uh, we don't have that set up, so we're going to leave it as local. We'll apply it. Uh, two other important tabs uh, to keep tabs on, no pun intended, uh, will be the organization tab. So we are going to give him the title of accountant. And he's in the finance department. He works for my website. And his manager, because we don't have a lot of uh, uh, accounts in here, we're going to use an admin. That's not good practice. You wouldn't see that in a normal environment, but I'm just showing you how it works. We're going to click OK. If he had direct reports, they would show here. If you were to go look at the admin account, you would see under direct reports uh, that Robert Smith was a direct report of admin. You don't need to fill this out, um, you know, for permissions or anything. This is purely for uh, record keeping, etc. So, and you would definitely not use the admin account. You would, you know, give it like, you know, John Smith or something like that, whoever his, you know, boss was. So we'll click apply. The last important tab over here is member of, and this is where if you had like a finance group, a distribution, uh, an email distribution group, that's where you would add things like that is right, right in this area here. Um, so pretty straightforward. So we're going to click OK. We've now created his account. We are going to close out of this console. We're going to come over to one of our Windows 10 lab machines here, and we're going to go into the console. Uh, actually, I've got to log off here because it was doing some testing. So let me sign out here. And let me do other user. And we'll do R Smith. And we'll log in as Robert Smith, the temporary user. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short little video on how to add a user to Active Directory. If you do, please like and subscribe below. Uh, you know, Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment. You can also follow along. I have a, a blog site, achubbard.com, which I'll post these videos on, as well as some additional write-ups and things of that nature. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos.